high-end radio. I got a, I got a, I got, a, I got a college graduate. I'm just speaking hypothetically or just in reality as well. I got a black co- college graduate, diploma in hand, possibly from the FDMG uh, Academy or, or 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 another or another school. Um, what advice are you giving this young black brother or sister? Two pieces. Number one, go to trade school before you go to college. That's my first piece of advice. Before you go, spend four, five, six years on a degree that may have no economic relevance or futility for you, go to trade school. Two years and become a plumber. Two years, become a carpenter. Two years, become a roofer. Two years, become a welder. Two years, become an auto mechanic. Two years, become an electrician. Go to trade school first, male or female. Spend your two years. It won't hardly cost you anything. A lot of trade schools, you go for free because of the scholarship, and then you go to college after that. That way, you can be a sure that you have the skills that pay the bills the reason why we have so many homeless unemployed impoverished and incarcerated brothers and sisters is they don't have the skills that pay the bills you understand me college degrees are only relevant if you're going to go and work for an institution that needs that particular uh, academic skill set otherwise they're useless most of the degrees we get on a university level do not empower us to come back and build the black community they're only useful if white america is looking for somebody with that type of training to come and work with them so it's too much to be desired having a college degree when it comes to to employment but when you can work with your hands when you can fix a roof when you can fix a leaking toilet when you can fix a leaking roof when you can fix a car your, your 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 income is guaranteed. We need the skills that pay the bills. 50, 60 years ago, we all had the skills that paid the bills. Wasn't nobody running off to college. Now we send every black kid to college like it's a rite of passage. Why are we doing that? You don't automatically send a kid to college just because they graduate from high school. You should only be sending them to college if they're going to major in something that is relevant. If you're not going to college to be uh, OSHA or you're not going to college to be an agricultural scientist or an engineer or a doctor or social worker, teacher, psychologist, a nurse, if you're not going to college to be something that is obviously relevant in this economy, you need not go. I'm not sending no child to college to get no liberal arts degree because after they get liberated from college, they also want to be liberated from the world of work because they're not going to be able to find no job. And definitely in a ton of debt when they leave college as well. Okay. It's not worth it, my brother. I, w- I would rather you I would rather you take that $100,000 you're about to waste on a college degree I'd rather you take it to the to the casino. Go to Vegas and gamble. You might do a better job. You might do a better job in Vegas with your hundred thousand dollars than you will do at the We Hate Black People University in San Diego, California, where you're going to get a master's degree in earthworm technology and a PhD in ladybug reproduction. What the hell are you going to do with them degrees out in the real world? Not a damn thing. Go to trade school. Now, let me ask you two separate questions. I want to ask you the flip side of what my co-host just asked you. The only difference is we're talking about a street cat. What advice do you give to a cat fully embedded in the streets? Well, first of all, he got to decide if he wants to raise his consciousness. You understand? The most important question you can ask anybody is, are you at the point where you're ready to change? I don't care who it is. Are you at the point where you're ready to change? If they're not at the point where you're ready to change, I'm going to leave them there. It's no different than if you come in for therapy or counseling. You 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 on you a marijuana addict, you a alcoholic, you a cigarette smoker, you got low self-esteem, you got anxiety, you got borderline, you got bipolar, you in an abusive relationship with your spouse. My biggest question, are you ready to change your life? And if you're not ready to change your life, you don't need to come back to this therapy couch ever again because I cannot fix you. I cannot change you. I can only assist you in your own journey in transformation towards becoming the person you want to be. If somebody is not ready to change, my brother, it is a waste of time to even engage them. So that's the first thing. Now, if the brother is ready to change, now you need to go to training school and pick up that trade. You understand? Because even if you have a criminal record, that cannot stop you from working in the trades if you have your licenses. So our brothers need to get into trades. We also need to get in real estate school. We need to also get into stock and investing school. We need to also get into international investments. We have to stop treating college like it's the only road to success. Half the millionaires in this country never went to college a day in their life. And at least a quarter of those millionaires got rich through real estate. Get your real estate license. Get your stock trading license. That's what we need to be getting. Get your trade a license. That's what we need to be doing. Everybody don't need to go to college. This is a high-end radio exclusive. Can we speak on Roe v. Wade? 
Well, the reason Roe v. Wade is being overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court is because the white population is facing significant reduction. You have 25 U.S. states that have a white death rate that exceeds the birth rate. America's white population is declining, which is totally paradoxical, ironic, and probably even prophetic when you look at the fact that America has been trying to get rid of black folks since the 13th Amendment was passed in December of 1865. So you're looking at 153 years of this government using concerted and covert tactics to reduce the black population, right? Everything from COVID to AIDS to black on black crime to police genocide to poor health poor diet and the list goes on and on and so it's just ironic that the very people who are trying to get rid of us are having their own numbers reduced by mother nature and so roe versus wade is a drastic attempt by the white power structure to save itself and replenish itself by not allowing white children white uh, women to uh, abort their children that is about white population now some people say well isn't it good for black people too that we won't be able to get aborted on some level yes but on the other level it's not why because they're simply looking at all those black babies that are going to be forced into this world that that, that they're going to be used for organ trafficking they're going to be used for uh, biological weapons research and they're also going to be used for the international underground child sex trafficking ring so all of those black children who the, who the parents don't want them they're going to be fuddled into uh, adoptive in the foster care system where they can then be redirected into orbit organ trafficking biological weapons research and international child sex trafficking it is not a solution for black america